This is called shh. singular soulful solo that never ceases, that hum that hides in the heart of everything, that song of silence. Shh. Can't you feel it? Quell the qualms that cause question while will waits in the womb of the undone. Sense the senselessness. Cease the struggle. something to share in the quiet calms, in the fragile falls of time, stumbling slowly towards too late. Shh. Be a panther prowling night, deliberate and gentle grace. Each movement a new vocabulary, written in shades and hues never seen by man. Be carefully crafted in marble, standing strong over all, perpetually proud and tall. Days divided between casting shadows and resting in them. Shh. Be flames flickering as they please. Changing all with a touch, never resting, always aglow. Absorbing the world in random links of light. Shh. Be always aware of the world as if the first child. Each moment a new vista. One with mountains by the simple act of seeing them. Let the sound that abounds resound. Listen like it matters. Listen because you do. Because the beat of your step should never be out of time with what truly moves you. The ambience is not just the audience. It is the performance. Step onto the stage and listen. Shh. Let it settle in. Then never settle. Zach Gallery. This is called At the End of the Day. Water in the glass refracts, redirects, prisms passing light into splashing colors which sway and shake as breezes caress the trees. Spreading leaves across manicured lawns like pages of an abandoned novel taken from their context. Excerpts to be read uncertainly. Beginnings and endings grafted on as unceremoniously as they are for all of us. Sudden shorelines where solidity and fluidity crash against each other in echoes of unexpected volcanic eruptions or the steady carving of channels as what is weakest erodes with time. The weight of what will be is as inescapable as it is uncertain. And our strongest defenses grow heavy with mosses flexed forever into the equivalent of stillness, a rigor mortis which speaks sadly of the movement which once was. But new life whispers softly through the cracks. And when we squint at the most ravaged spaces, the stalks and stems and buds and their perfumes of tomorrows shimmer through. My rage is a mirage. Your regret is a reverie to be passing, passing sensations, to be taken from sight, to be banished from memory by the brightness ahead. Before the brightness, though, the dark will take its turn. And though we huddle together in anticipation, when it comes, we are often at our best alone. We do not wither for want of warmth. Rather, we are braced and charged and move in our own direction when the light fails, or fails to show us the simple path. 
which is best because to walk where the way is well trod, to swivel with the signposts, requires nothing of us. To truly follow in the footsteps of the map makers, one must turn from their trails. To be, we must see the connections yet to be, and those yet to be understood. That distant speck in the field is vivid lines, increases of color, an infinity of detail. It's a dot like the others. It's an assemblage of imperfections blending perfectly. The space between tells the story. Arms length and eye blinks shift our perspective. So we wonder, what if we'd only pulled it all closer? What if we'd only stepped back and allowed it all to happen in its own way? But the truth is more complex. Close one eye, then the other, and you see. It's stereo staring at us. All is close at hand, imposing, sheltering, cradling. All is distant, unattainable, a worthy goal. A ripple in a pond, the one bloom that shifts unlike the others. Behind these, the flight of insects continues, a dance older than imagination, which sets its stages to shift and squeak. Some things need to be writ larger, and while we smile at our great designs, trying to fathom who may see them from similar distances, we forget that we ourselves are the microscope, the magnifying glass. And whether we are predestination or prestidigitation without premeditation is of significantly less import than whether we respect the question and whether we make ourselves an appropriate answer. Thank you.